Looking to easily screen record on your Mac without downloading some bloated third-party app? No problem. Whether you're a content creator, sharing a how-to video for mom and her new MacBook, or putting together a presentation for next week's department meeting, let me show you how you can record every action within your Mac screen preview. As easy as one, two, three. To use the built-in screen record toolbar on your Mac, you need a Mac OS version of Mojave or Later. And to activate the toolbar, press the shortcut keys Shift Command 5. Your screen record options will appear toward the bottom of your window. These two selections in the middle set the border of your record view. You can either record the entire screen you see here, or choose a defined section of your view. When you opt for a specific section, a dashed line appears and everything inside the rectangle is what will be recorded. You can grab the dots around the frame to adjust the viewpoint for your needs. I should mention that you not only have the capability to screen record here, but you can also capture images like the snipping tool in Windows. The left side of the toolbar allows you to set custom dimensions identical to the recording option. Otherwise, you can choose an open window view or full screen. When I click the section icon, you get the same dashed frame allowing you to adjust the dimensions as needed. Once you're ready to capture an image, just press the capture button to the right. Or you can move the cursor off the toolbar and click your mouse, which will show as a tiny camera for your cursor. After the image is taken, it'll be saved to your desktop or whatever location you designated. Going back to the toolbar with Shift Command 5, I'll now choose an option from the screen record area and then open the drop down for options. Here's where you can change settings like the visibility of your mouse clicks and the inclusion of audio recording. By default, no audio is configured. You do have the option to select the built-in microphone, but if you have a better mic to plug into your computer, I'd do it. The built-in audio isn't going to wow anyone, so I'd use it as a last resort in most cases. There's also an option to set a countdown timer before the recording begins. And lastly, you can change the default location of where your finished video will save to. With all that set, press the record button to the right and your Mac will start recording. You can tell it's recording by the new icon at the top of your screen. Now any folder you open or action you take will be captured until you end the screen record. To do that, you can press the keyboard shortcut Command, Control, Escape, or simply click the record icon at the top. The completed recording will compile and save to your location so you can view or edit as you wish. As an alternative, you can also open your QuickTime Player app and select a new screen recording. You'll see the same toolbar appear at the bottom with the settings I just showed you. The big difference here is that the QuickTime recording opens right from the app, and you can start editing your video without any other third-party apps to download. Now you can certainly go with other options like OBS Studio, which is a free download I use myself. Or if you've got an Apple-capable version of PowerPoint, the process is just as simple. But for most uses, the built-in screen record toolbar should be enough for your purposes. If you have any questions about the method I showed you or alternatives I mentioned, drop a comment below. And for more helpful tutorials on a wide range of digital products, consider subscribing to get all the latest tips and tricks first. Thanks for watching.